if you see any building apart from the polytechnic I am in, they were all built by my wife. Recently, I did a video on uh, my YouTube channel, why I left my wife. You know, church people don't listen. They like a promo. They thought I divorced her. But if you listen to the video, my wife and I are very strong personalities. She grew up in Agbasa. Me, I grew up in Okere. Okere and Agbasa. They are not very good mixtures. And I found out that she has so much energy, and I have so much energy, but she's more productive than I am. On her 50th birthday, I asked my children, what do you give to your mommy for her birthday? My last one said, leave her sleeping next. <laughs> so my wife is so energetic, so productive, that I left her to manage everything we have let me create my own wealth. Because we always quarrel. I'm the only pastor that quarrels with his life. When you see me head, you look at me like <laughs> so, so I let my wife, let her manage her stuff. So she couldn't be here today because she has also gone to her own side. So I'm so glad to be here. Thank you. My sorrow said that if you don't want a black man to know a secret, write it in a book. I've written more than 40 books. This is the wilderness of life. The wilderness of life is when you enter life and you don't know where to go. But God has a way of meeting people in the wilderness. This is the treasures of wisdom. It's a compilation of the sayings I have made that my wife wrote down. This is the first time I'm seeing this book. Came out yesterday. Keys to understanding women. Keys to understanding women. All the brothers, they You see, if, if your wife, I will finish dressing. I've entered my car. My wife will say, Come, come. I will go. She will start telling me, When you go there at church, no talk nonsense, no good to pray. <laughs> You know, if I'm driving, my wife drives for me. So that, so that, so that, so that. My wife is to match break on the other side. <laughs> it doesn't happen to you, it's only me. <laughs> and then you will get irritated. No, I will not leave you comfortless. I will give you a comfort. The same way it's not good for the man to be alone, I will give you a suitable help. Your wife is like the Holy Spirit of the house. <laughs> She will be teaching you. She's the greatest critic of my messages. Why do you do your So when I now understood that she is the Holy Spirit of the house, the chorus reduced. So this book will help you. And then there's a place called there. There's a place that you have admired and you need to be there. When I went for my son's graduation in 2012 in medical school in Europe, I was the only black man in the hall, black parents in the hall. And when my son stood up, I remember when we used to cut firewood. This airport was not put in my presence. When we used to cut firewood around Tuta. During the rainy season, it would be raining as it is raining. We are inside this thing called Nogo. And the water will reach your legs here, and it is raining from above. I was that shivering. I was saying, Mama, a pion. Oh, you say cross over when? I will not cross my legs. Say, Peck woman, Peck woman. Say, pee on your body. I will not pee on my body. It is the urine that will make me warm. But I have a dream of raising a global family. Today, I have a global family. I have European grandchildren, I have grandchildren, I have um, sons that are citizens of different nations. There is a place called there. This book will explain how we got there. The dynamism of wealth, the biggest house in the town is not a permanent address. It is subject to change. Money is an idiot, one of the books I will introduce you. It has no fixed location. Some of those who are admired in this town, their children have sold their buildings. Yes. 
you must learn how to contain money and um, take money from other general, other big families that don't know how to manage their own. And buying people's father's land. My father did buy land in Okumaga, I was going to Okumaga, they had six that he bought fire room for me to go and help him at the house. I would have been taller than this, if not for the fire room. <laughs> so because my father did buy land, I decided to buy, buy the one for my father did buy. I bought so much that I forgot I bought 10 acres somewhere. Money is an idiot. It has no religion. If a Muslim knows how to make money more than you, the richer than you. They said they also prayed for Dangoti. That's why they came to the church. If they also prayed for me. <laughs> you must know how to make money stupid in your hand. 60 to 70. You are too young here to understand. Mama, my wife is 60. 63 and 65. When you reach 65, I love 65. 65 years old. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. When you, Sister Vera is a very good uh, wife. When you reach 65, everything and every person around you changes. As a man, you might become second option. I told my children, buy one medicine called Duo Dance. It prevents prostate cancer. It was 12,000 in Nigeria here. It's now 52,000. But it's still the same amount in Europe. Buy Duo Dance for me. I told the doctor, I told the engineer, I told my last one. They don't quit saying that. They, they never have the team, never have the team. They will first think of their wives. Particularly those of them who you want to children, the first thing of their lives, think of their children before they think of you. If you don't plan your life well in your old age, you will, you will regret some things. That house you build, they are not ready to visit you. So I planned my life very well. As of today, I don't need to go to work. I don't need to work until I die to get income. I woke up to meet dollars in my phone this morning. I don't pay rent anywhere. You must start planning now that you are young. So that in old age you wake up slowly. I wake up slowly. I chose to come and preach here. If not, if I charge you, you want the wife of one big pastor in this country. One hour to do online video with her. I charge her half a million. She was begging her hands I just left her. At this age, when you reach 65, please. Plan from party so that when you reach 65, you don't depend on any person for income. You live a comfortable life. The power of knowledge. What do you know when you're made known? You make the money enter your pocket. Unstoppable people. I borrowed the coat I wore for matriculation. I borrowed the shoe. The tie was not my own. The only thing that was my own was pants and singlet. I'm not even sure whether I wore pants. <laughs> but I graduated like others. And I became a doctor like others. My father was a refuse collector in Wally General Hospital. But in that same hospital where my father collected refuse, I became a doctor there. My father was a great man in that hotel. When DS just came newly, um, my mates who read three years, we were working in DSC, and I read five years, I would sit with my father in the gatehouse. They would say, Papa, Poki, open gate. And my father would open gate for my schoolmates. One day, I was taken to dancing hotel years back, it was renovated. They put me in a suite, the toilets, two bathrooms, television, and all this stuff. I remember my father used to answer, Yes, sir. I called manager, I said, Yes, sir. I called all of them, they answered me, yes, sir. So that all the yes, sir, yes, sir, my father answered. I collected the back of the They know who you are, Tom. The oil of marriage. How can you be very not great at this? I'm saying I'm the last. Yes, cut my fingernails. 
take a bath, and I perfume myself so that when my wife comes to embrace me, I'm a living sacrifice of the six minutes. You don't wear dirty box and you go and sleep with your wife. The echo income. There are some things I have done that are still giving me money till today. I've finished the activity, but it's still giving me money. Echo income. I use this to teach uh, 4,000 pastors of the Church of God mission in the Bam of Gilead. And Abraham sold 1,600 copies in one hour. Don't be an usher here, be a dicky here, be a choir member here, just like the passage I'm going to preach. And complain that church used you. You must learn how to make money while serving God. Not from stealing from the church, but make money. This book teaches how my wife and I have been able to build what we have built, train our children overseas, and live the kind of life. I live on, in a, an eight bedroom house with ten toilets, with a boys' quarter, and half an acre. In Ugali, I've never been to the US to preach, I've never been to the UK. Creative world in the same country, this book will show you. Then the philosophy of the ant. If you carry human hair on your coconut head from Africa, that's 650,000. Some few months back, that was 100 bags of cement. 100 bags of cement will give you 4,000 blocks of 5 inches. That's the blocks for three bedroom bungalow you are carrying on your coconut head. You carry phone, I, I, iPhone, iPhone 17, iPhone, this. you don't use iPhone 1 finish, and you, you don't have anything you are doing. The ant builds a house that is 11 kilometers high in the savannah. That means that a human being is supposed to build a house that is 11 kilometers tall. You are still a tenant in worry after staying here for 30 something years. Make you look like that man for Abba, who is still another person's house for 33 years. The man won't drive up and say, Come out. You don't stay here, you treat my children, not come call me on. <laughs> chapter 4, Amplified Bible, 2 Kings chapter 4 from verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 4, we're going to look at the philosophy of money, then tomorrow we're going to look at practical things about creating wealth. And let me just read this morning. We in the Niger Delta, we talk too much. When I'm teaching you now, first of all, get the information, personalize it, internalize it, analyze it, and act on it. Don't and say, Dr. Apoki said, Dr. Apoki said. Because you just stupid. Internalize what I'm saying. Now the wife of the son of the prophet cried to Elisha, your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord. But the creditor has come to take my two sons to be his slaves. Next verse, please. Elisha said to her, what shall I do for you? Tell me, what have you of same value in the house? She said, the handmaid has nothing in the house except a jar of oil. When I sold the hospital and started ministry, the greatest needs I had, number one, I was lonely because people abandoned me, they thought I was crazy. Number two was finance, money. And then the day I stumbled upon this passage, my destiny changed. I found out that number one, you can be anointed and be poor. Number two, you can belong to a big ministry and be poor. He belonged, the prophet belonged to the minister of Elijah and Elisha. So the church you attend does not determine your wealth. The anointing of the person you are working under does not determine your wealth. Then the next thing we see here is that the man said the Lord. So if you can serve God and still be poor, you can be righteous and still be poor. Because money is a creation of man. And there are principles that govern the creation of money. God only gives you the power to make wealth. And the power to make wealth comes from the following eyes. Number one, intuition. Intuition is three types. One, a eidetic intuition. Two, ideal intuition. Three, a magnetic intuition. 
as you as you are thinking about the thing, pam, something will just come. The next thing is information. Information. The next thing is instinct. I don't know why, as I just go on. The next thing is inspiration. So how many eyes are you writing? So these are the things. I was approaching Cassava and we just had the inspiration. Lift up the cassava and do a video. Hey, hey, uh, check, 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 do a video. I raised up the, 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 the cassava. This is the aconary species of cassava. Six months old. Now, Africa is not cost. This land is blessed. I have 65 acres for sale. If you are interested, call us so number. I put it on Facebook. I didn't have money. I needed money to lay the foundation of the polytechnic. And just doing that video, somebody called me from the UK. I sold 15 acres to him. I told him for each acre is 50, 50,000. So I got 750,000. Another person bought 10 acres. I made mean, another 500,000, 1.25 million. And because of that singular video, I have sold, I'm opening a totally new city. I have sold several, up to 200 acres of land to Nigerians in the diaspora. Just an instinct. You see, and you can't have that instinct if you are watching pornography and your interest is there. Uh, and get yash, get this. Yes, no, no thing of the soul you with your stupidity. <laughs> le, 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 bugao. If you bugao with empty brain, you have one back. <laughs> How do you get rich? Number one, money has no religion. Money is produced by ideas, by products, by services. Number two, money must be made and number one. Money must be multiplied and number two. Money must be maintained and number three. Then money must generate momentum. That is when I built my first school, it was more difficult. Building the second one is less difficult. I have created mass and a critical velocity. Are you following what I'm saying? So, and there are different types of money. There is dead money. Dead money is the one you used to go and buy VSOP. I may not, I may not, do me, do me. As you drink it, you spend your 250000 to buy drink. That's so stupid. You drink it, you urinate it, gone is dead money. There is no living money. No living money, you buy a piece of furniture, it is dead, but it cannot grow. Then there is living money. Living money is the money you invest then it increases in value. Are you following what I'm saying? Then there is eternal, I'm, I've already said it, I hope you are learning something. There is eternal money. Eternal money is money that you invest even after you are dead. Your grand great, your great great grandchildren will still be benefiting from it. And that's what is absent in Africa. When we die, they share our assets and think people return to poverty. All the trading stores in this town, in those days, if they had remained, we would have had our own shop right, our own pick and pay, our own Walmart. But immediately the men died. And there's one principle we must end in the Niger Delta. That principle of giving the inheritance to the senior son. If the senior son is an idiot, put him aside. If it's a woman that is more intelligent, give it to the woman to manage, let him take care of that idiot. One of the biggest companies in the world is the Savanji Foundation. They pay 5% of the annual tax of talking. It is headed by a woman. The oldest continuous degree awarding university in the world, Al Kwari University in Fez, Morocco, 
founded in about 899 AD, was founded by a woman called Fatima with the inheritance she got from her father. My daughter manages my two schools. Bought a car for her, paid her own, put her in a flat, one of her flats, solar panel and everything. When she was married, she told her husband, I cannot marry you if you are not ready for me to manage my father's business. I will manage my father's businesses and I will make you rich. Don't want to manage with only breast and buttocks. You have expiring dates. question any young person needs to answer. Look at me. I opened my first hospital when I was 29. A great man's son, a great man from the Hotel. I opened my first hospital when I was 29, not in Okere in Aba. So the idea you start will be better for you. So what do you think? We're still too young in the Niger Delta. And we're unnecessarily happy. Check the outside boy, check the indoor boy, they are serious minded. We will unnecessarily happy. Everybody say that now, hey, 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 hey. We are going to collect the bed from the district of building a compound. Are you going to be a fool? Open when you go on, are you a fool? Do they build your own house? What have you of same value? Ask me what you deserve. Listen to me, doctor, what you deserve, Gary. I'm an intelligent man. I serve that is my Somebody bring out your calculator now. Or can they display it here? Can the calculator work here? Okay. 250. 250. 250 times 40 times 20 times 10 times 12. 250 times 40 times 20, times 12, times 10. 24 million. 24 million. 24 what? Million. You will explain to me why you are poor. If you can get 40 people to buy something of 250 naira from you on a daily basis for 20 days in a year for 12 months, for 10 years, you will make 24 million. How much have you paid in the last 10 years? Just increase the number to 80 people. In 5 years, you will have 24 million. Leave the number at 40, increase the product to 500 naira. In 5 years, you will make 24 million. Increase the number at 500 to 80 people. In 2.5 years, you will get a turnover of 24 million. Just juggle the numbers. And one of the advantages of being a Nigerian is the population. We are not going anywhere. We die here. <laughs> Go here. We die here. The person don't want to talk to Why? Old men when they shift, they shift. They won't rule. They rule now. Then me, I run to the land, but no way. Die here. So it's easier to make money in Nigeria than any other nation in the world. You know how many jobs your brothers go overseas? Have you, have you stayed inside snow before? Do you know how they manage this? If you visit them overseas, the light is on, you just miss that in office. You can't run. They brush in the mouth and water is running. I was watching television in Australia and the television was watching. I was watching the television. Immediately I fell asleep, it went off. The sensor was monitoring me. There, there was no motion from my eyelids, it went off. If you go out of the room, the light will go off. You come back, it comes off. You leave electricity on here. Stupid, wasteful people. God ignores you because he gives to people according to their abilities. 
So what have I learned? Do you know I noticed that school fees alone cannot make me rich? So, all the bakery they eat in my school is from my plantain. All the coconut candy they eat in my school is from my coconut. The home economics department was just wasting. We started to use it to produce snacks. And again, we're selling 50,000. You see, the problem this generation has created for you, you look at the menu, menu you look at the honor um, um, boy, you look at uh, what is his name, that sound, uh, uh, Balan Dior, Reva, just make one million. It is not like that for every person. If you come from the ghetto like me, you have to start from Genesis. Your certificate should not be the circumference of your life. I went to government college with an A, business A, chemistry A, biology A, geography A, economics. I went to MGC one. I went to College of Medicine in West Jordan Valley. The certificate that cannot feed you is a receipt that you went to school. Throw that thing by design. What is it that people need that I can sell? My son in Europe. I have an ice cream machine in my school. So as he's in Europe, we are selling ice cream for him. He has opened a store now. He will be selling food stuff. He is in Europe. So what are you selling? We sell, no, no, we sell bakery, we sell everything. All the exercise books they use in my school is produced from my printing press. I found out that the more you have to sell, the more you make. That's why Yamaha produces keyboard, Yamaha produces motorcycle, Yamaha produces motorcycle and uh, outboard engine. Are you following what I'm saying? If you are a salary earner, you are called a civil servant, another word for civilized slave. Because you can't determine your income, you can't determine the time you close, you can't determine where you work. That's why they call you grade level. They grade you and they level you. <laughs> and they give you a big title, director, and you have no direction. <laughs> then they want to spoil you more, director, general, that means now. <laughs> Are you the only one buying? Are you the only one buying? If you are the only one buying, you are like a basket. When they pay you your salary, you will lick your water, lick this, lick house rent, lick school fees, lick fuel, lick that, lick that. And when price is more, you have nothing to increase price. You are not understanding. <laughs> This packaging, if you see me outside, I don't dress like this on my work clothes. Just to make you think I'm a reasonable person, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> packaging. We, there's a girl that started selling Banda paste at Church of God Mission Gwiri Koku. Banda was at one time one of the most Googled words in Nigeria. She noticed that these girls with their long Nebuchadnezzar fingernails can't do Banda. So she was producing banda pieces. She would freeze them, send to neighbors very early, and they were buying them. So, as you are here, think of a need in your environment. You know, Clarissa supermarket. You know, she they have a, a, an e tree somewhere there. Somewhere I got to They have that hospital there, that whole Stage, that layer, you just put somewhere there so that somebody can come and be buying instead of going to town. How many of you know Christian Ways Bookshop in Ugeli? Benevolarwari, Christian Ways Bookshop. Do you know the man just put the shop in the gate of HGS? So instead of the children to go to town, today his son is managing it. Anywhere there are problems, provide the next solution. When you provide the solution, 
money will come. When you provide the solution to problems of people, that's number three, render service. What people don't have time to do, what they cannot do well, what they don't like doing, do it. My son has a cleaning company in Europe. The girl he wants to marry, the father is a fish maxillary surgeon, the mother is a fish maxillary surgeon, the two sisters are fish maxillary surgeons. She is claiming to become a fish maxillary surgeon, but she joins him to go and clean. And as you clean, they have to get dirty again. You come and clean again. Clean, 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 clean. Okay, he has no taxes. And so we started a transport company in the school that carries children. And I was the first bus driver. I would drive to go and carry a child from an in the house. Money has no religion. If the money wants to enter my hand, it comes to Christian money. The money you use it to buy carrots, it comes to Muslim money. You use it to buy sugar, it comes to Muslim money. Why is it that Muslims will always rule you? They have the money. The carrots you buy, the eggs you buy, cucumber, watermelon, cow. When you are celebrating Christmas, you now enrich them. You think to buy AK-47 is cheap. The list is 300,000 to 500,000 to people. How much is that? 1.5. 1.5 million. How are they buying it? From your money. <laughs> Let me talk. Now you buy it again. <laughs> That only go to once in a year. Can't we rear cows? The Budala cow gets pregnant for nine months. If we rear cows in all the deeper life camps, within camp, all the mountain and fire camps, if we rear cows, cows will become so bountiful here that it is not economical for them to come. If you read Lord Lugard's book of 1922, the dual mandate, he wrote there that it is because of the amalgamation that the Fulani is now bringing cows to the south. I grew up, grew up, people were not eating cows. They said it was old outside northern women that they used to, to touch that come to cow. How many prayer camps rear pigs? We go to Kafanchan to bring pigs. A pig gets pregnant for three months, three weeks, and three days, and produce 10, 12 eggs, and we're importing pigs. That's such a useless thing. That's why I don't go to meetings, I don't have to say no. I get offended. Sales! If you sell anything in the Department of Stomach Sciences, you will be rich. The dining table economy. Anything that people will use on a daily basis. Package it in such a way that the poor will buy. Because the poor eat like food. If a poor man wants to use toothpaste, he must put it from the beginning. Half of it will fall from his mouth. If a poor man likes gas, he will throw away the stick. When rich people like gas, they keep the stick. They want to light the next one. Up. <laughs> when you go to the house of rich people, they just give you needle and bomb it and they see their sugar in it. Poor man will put the packet there. So, what are you selling? What service? So, I was a bus driver and I knew I was creating wealth for the future. One of my drivers refused to carry one of my boys well. And you know, poor people have bad mouth. Told the woman, 
We don't expect people to bring children to school here. We don't expect people. Ask how many children you don't bring to school. That day I heard, I wore a suit, put cap, took my seven seater SUV, put on the AC, put on Christian jazz music. I got near her. You must be intentional to be rich. Yes, yes, I wound down the glass. The glass hit me, the AC hit the woman. So when I enjoy it, my jeep that did the carrying. I came down, carried the jam, put in the boot of the car. Then, while I took the back seat in the trunk of the car, took the jam, fasting the belt. I was deliberately going slowly so that she could pose with me. You see, now the owner of the school come carry and kiss. The only doctor put the way they teach for radio. When they go, I see, I see they go to her, I see she's following me. <laughs> Ma, do you know why I did it? Daniel was two years old. Daniel was still with me for 14 years until he gets to 16 to write school certificates. If he pays me 100,000 every year, times 14 years is 1.4 million. And he is a first child. Are you from? Yes. 1.4 million. Yes, 1.4 million. And then, you know, Urubu men don't know how to romance. They romance with quarrel. You don't know that I love you. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> but they know how to impregnate women. <laughs> so that woman is going to produce, produce four other children. All of them will come because I've treated one well. If you treat men like trash, you can't get their cash. If you treat men like royalty, you can't get their cash. The, mouth, the eyes eat before the mouth. So I, I carry the child. And you know, it is women that bring children to school. They recommend school. So she will recommend another nine women. Ten women. If I do that, it's 56 million. <laughs> One assembly of God passed for when to block my street. So I do blood money. She said, you know, they run church and you get money. And the lady they run school, wait till you come this time. It is sense money. Once you know how to make money, you don't be following you like a fool. Because it's an idiot. And idiots don't make money. So service. What service can you render? Just be thinking. What problem do people have in your environment? We don't teach people specific things to do so that you don't see what's in the face. What? <laughs> What can you render? You are working in an office that was going out to buy a charge card or buy water. Or, I know a woman who was making peanuts in the licensing office. The problem was she would blend them, add ginger to make peanut butter. So when people want to do marriage ceremonies, they book from her. Am I talking to somebody? What service are you rendering? What are, what are you selling? In today's generation, the services you render must save the following. Number one, time. Time. You design an application that saves people time. You know, Flutterway is a billionaire now, you know him? Flutterway, the same computer science you read. Flutterway is a billionaire. Something that can save time. Because people are in a hurry. Anything that can save people time in your business, save people time. Anything that can save energy, energy. That's why if you learn about solar energy today, how to fix solar panels, you will make money. You don't need to necessarily do the physical work. I know a young man in this town that designs charge controller and the other stuff and joins it. He's an Urubu boy from Agbaraya. His father is a multi-billionaire. Boy started designing charge controllers and whatever. And I pay him a lot for my solar energy needs. Any 
thing that can save people money. You notice that everything is being micronized. You see, drone has re replaced the staying on top of a helicopter. Are you following what I'm saying? Your handset has a camera, has a library, has a phone, has the gadgets that are folded into that phone are enormous. So, think. Your laundry, your laundry business, how can you save people time and money? Can you book when to collect their clothes and return them? And return them promptly? Am I talking to somebody? The next thing is skills. Skills. One of the things that gave me a comparative advantage, I was in UBTH, and uh, what we were doing was to collect blood, here and you, go and do this, go and collect x-ray from this, this, and I looked at myself, I said, if I continue like this, it will take me so long before I become a consultant. I resigned. I came to Wally Hospital. This was how I was following Dr. Ray to Syracuse Clinic, back to back. I was learning surgery from him, back to back. When I got to Aga, I was going around clinics, learning surgery. At the age of 27, I was running a 40-bed hospital with a four-bedroom house with a driver. They had to employ my wife because she's in this I was doing cesarean sections. I'm a general practitioner. I was doing intestinal anastomosis if the test and get strutting from the stability, I will join this. I was doing Manchester repairs, remove the wound from below, doing stuff, doing my rectomies, removing fibroids, doing a lot of stuff. So I was in demand because I had skills. But leave medicine alone. I have other skills. What skills do you have? A piano, a pen, this buttocks will expire. The bigger the buttocks, the more burdensome it is in old age. To look like Mercedes Concord and have broken shop at all. <laughs> you, you terrorize people with breasts. People say, when I shot my mother's breast, the thing I shot the last one, I shot the tree. <laughs> she could throw it from forward backwards. <laughs> This one I'm using to terrorize people, I'm not learning anything. <laughs> Deliver twins, boys, when they show them, you'll start singing, ah, it's alright. No, I don't mind, I'm not a normal teacher. <laughs> okay. Come on, we're going to grow up, okay, we can't stay for you. <laughs> okay. Skills! My Tyler. If you know how much I've paid in, because most of my walls are tired. Moody Africa, many of you all know Moody Africa. Moody Africa went to government college with me. He's not a professor. Moody Africa came to my 60th birthday celebration. He said he was going to make a dress for me. He just looked at me like this. And then he said, You are even made up into women. I've taken your measurement. He said, What? No tip. When he brought the dress, the arm I was lecturing on entrepreneurship in Fukui then, the packet alone, the arm to teach my class on packaging and presentation. I gave it to them to inhale the arm All this, all this boy, when the thing come back, the thing don't even hear When he landed, we went to give three pairs like this to somebody in this town. Those three pairs are 800,000. This was made by Moody. The one he made from is 250K. I mean, if you know Zion Grace the tailor? Zion Grace. When I saw his son who came from the UK, was speaking good English. I asked, what did you say, tailor? Don't you know my father Zion Grace the tailor? I do terror. I was once, once in a flight and there was one big man they were attending to. And uh, I said, uh, Who must this man be? I went to introduce myself to him. 
and he turned out to be the king of Ashanti. And the king of Ashanti asked, what are you doing in Ghana? I said, I came to take measurement of my clients. I flew first class from London to take measurement. The king of Ashanti said, you must come to my palace to take my measurement. And when the flight was, the time was going, they used a private jet to carry him to the airport. Skills. Have you seen a man diligent in his work? Stand before kings and not win men. I know a young man that is dressed for the governor. Politicians contest elections to enter the governor's office house, but this boy with scissors and tray enters the governor's house and puts stick on his body. Skills. Very dark man, very dark black man. If he plays hair for you, you will be surprised. Some of you want to marry to become a PLC, a private liability concept. Just to produce babies. And the ones that are very lazy complain a lot. They're not taking me out. They're not taking me out. No, I have time down reach back to your leg like you know. They're not taking me out. Taking me out. Your mouth like Scottish rat. You want to know that I can do fish. I am not producing anything. Ten more minutes. Skills. Throw away your degree. Go and meet somebody who is repairing generators. Or that I'm a Gina Chikubi from Unipen. I started the country and I want to know how to repair generators. And then go and learn how to repair generators. Repair, repair generators, you can repair tractors, you can repair any diesel engine. The man selling generators by power as you are going to talk with him before DS learned about him. He is a multi billionaire. If you see his generators, how much? Skills. I leave this with you. What we need in this country is for educated people to start taking over what illiterates do. Repackaging them. I won't give you specifics. Just repackage them. So, skills, services, then seriousness. Somebody say seriousness. seriousness. Say it again. Every man of God you admire. In fact, Jesus, there's no painting of Jesus where he was smiling. You can never see the northerners where they are doing their business, then they are playing. Oh, Nico man, never. Or Nico, never. Nico, when? Yeah. Um, I'm not giving you. The greatest benefit I got from National Youth Service was that I went to England to see. Those men don't play. They wake up early, they go to their shops early, they close after you have gone. I, I, Urobo people, I get three parties to do. I want three, three parties. Okay, I'm dead, I'm no trouble me, I won't go party. No! They're going to spend money per minute that will end per hour. Don't spend per minute what you end per month. Income is a spring, one world is a leak. You enter? You're joking. People, man, you must develop a system to get money from people's pockets. Hey, what are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you? I get that. I get that. I get that. I get that. They know that people buy emotionally. They come to the market undecided. Get that. Get that. Mommy, Madu, tell to sit. Provide seats. Yanga market has not grown because of Yanga. Yes. Ah. Okay, Chuku, that's what 
your full mouth, you take your your full mouth, maybe in your language. He knows that you have come from Ubi and you are thirsty. And he has to give you cold mud. Meanwhile, when he sent Kechi to Maman Kechi's place is the end of the market. So Kechi who knows the formula, he will spend time so that you will be crying before he comes. Am I talking to somebody? After drinking his mud, who could not hold your food? You cannot move. So you must die. When you are praising, he never gets, an evil man never gets angry with you. 10,000, 5,000, what of people that mommy you don't try? That person calling you mommy can buy you. Never underestimate an evil man. Buy you. Then, okay, you can put it in your hand, you can put it in your hand, you carry this thing to the car. He's winning your heart. People will carry the thing to the car. Then, 11 o'clock, he will call my wife. Mommy, I said I should call you whether you have reached home. In the mind of my wife, okay, she go, I mean, uh, who is a very caring customer. Just nice. In the Nyangama case. They say you come. <laughs> so they will quarry you. You know, they said, go and you don't, you need to go square and do that. If you don't want to buy, come on, if it is in the market. I am, I am, go and you don't want to go out So we remain poor with our bad mouth. But the other tribes that get our money, they are pleasant. How can we do, most of us, God help us, some of the things here might be done by no means. P.O.P., you are back with me. If you go buy a plaster wall for you, it's not going to Are you listening to me? This is just snacks that are taken. Great messages don't make great people. It's only great decisions that make great people. I remain your friend, your child.